Good morning, trappers and viewers. Checking out another location for some beaver trapping. I didn't want to drive all the way in until I actually walked it to see what the ground is like. Most of this area is clay. And if you all know, clay and water make for slicker than dog snot. So I really don't want to get stuck. Been there, done that. Not to mention I have not even put my winter tires on yet. So I got to get that done this week. Anyway, turn you back on if I find anything. It's supposed to be a big dam back here. So check my, uh, all my sets today. Nothing at all. I've kind of neglected my canine sets a little bit and I wanted to add some more, but with this weather, we're supposed to get more rain and crap and I'd rather wait till it all subsides and then put some new sets out, but it's beautiful, beautiful area, beautiful country. I love getting out and uh, we're in the throes of hunting season. So I do have my orange hat on today. I don't feel like being a statistic. But, uh, yeah, we'll uh, turn you back on when we find something or anything. Have a great day. All right, trappers. Didn't, uh, didn't take me long to find a big dam they were talking about. That kind of looks promising. Unfortunately, I don't have time to set that up right now. I'll have to set that up maybe tomorrow. I'll be working on my trapping shed today. So, my buddy Tim P is coming over to help. All right. Talk to you later, guys. Be safe. Like they always say, hope for a tight chain. A little trail running through here. I don't know if it'll come up on a on a video right in here, uh, but it's it's pretty well beat down. So I think what I'm gonna do, and it splits right here. Let me see if I can find some prints. Uh, Eh, kind of hard to tell. Something's running it hard. I would imagine probably everything under the sun. Uh, probably coon. Um, mink. Uh, you name it. Whatever's in the area here. Uh, jackalopes. Never caught one of those. But any, in any event, you get the hint, guys. So when I... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to set down here or not, to be honest with you. I don't see, well, there's a little bit of sign over there that, oh yeah, there's some more sign over there. This, uh, that big dam I showed you is downstream that away. All right, I'll talk to you later. Be safe. Good morning, trappers, viewers, friends and alike. No catches again today. It's been quite the dry spell. The last time I was aware that the coyotes were actually around because I don't have trail cameras set out was <clears throat> a little over a week ago. And <clears throat> excuse me, from trapping this location, I know it's about a week and a half to two weeks and for whatever reason they come back around it must be their run that they that they have their route that they take um that's the only thing i can explain um but i relured rebaited because it's been a hot minute i set in a new trap over here and i freshened up the others uh what i try to do is when i'm making a fox set i am about six inches 
uh, pan center to either dirt hole or whatever lure I'm putting down or bait. Uh, if it's coyotes, I'm, I usually come back a little further, right around nine inches. I don't take a tape measure and measure it, but uh, I'm, I'm usually around that. And I offset to the right just a little bit. And in the past, it's worked, gr it, it's worked really good for me. So um, I know that uh, what I try to do when I make a set, I want it to, I want it to look appealing to them. Not that I know what looks appealing to them, but I try to I try to act like a act like a fox or a coyote and let me see, is this gonna look good? Something that's intriguing, something that's gonna catch their eye, something that's gonna catch their nose. And once you catch their nose, you wanna try to keep their attention at that set. You want them to work your set. You don't want them to take one step, sniff, and walk away. That's no bueno. So what I try to do is keep them interested, keep them there. <coughs> excuse me i try to put in at least a uh you know a lure um and a bait i may do a triangle set i've done that in the past uh, generally in the winter i do those and it works really really well so um basically with a triangle set you put your trap in a in a, in a location and you put a couple of uh uh, three holes about 12 inches from uh, I believe it was 12 inches from the pan out and you kind of make a triangle with those little holes from the um, from the trap and uh, put a different scent in each and it just uh, it drives them crazy they run around and spin and next thing you know kablam gotcha so anyway enough rambling I just figured I would uh, explain that I try to keep them at the set, try to keep them working at the set. The more steps they take around your set, uh, the better off you're going to be uh, as far as keeping them there and, and having them step in your in your pan, so in your trap. All right, guys. Uh, again, I'm due for those coyote to come back through. It's been, it's been a bit, and uh, I know they're going to come back through. I've not seen any sign that they have been back, so... I will uh, I'll turn you back on. I got to go check beaver sets and um, set up uh, downstream from where I was before. So, all right, guys, I'll turn you back on in a little bit. Hey, guys, this little creek is the highest I've seen it so far, and uh, it's not really doing good for my drowning sets or my kind of bears. So, um,. It's washing away everything, which kind of stinks, but anyway, we made a catch. Nice back foot on a muskrat, you buddy. Actually, two back feet. <laughs> he didn't have a chance. All right, guys, I'll remake this and uh, for what it's worth, and we'll get down the road. I was going to set up downstream, but uh, yeah, the water's too high. We're supposed to have a week of nothing but dry weather, so I remade those canine sets, uh, or the land sets, and um, I think I'm gonna wait another day for this to go down, and then I'll set up that, that big dam. I don't know if I put a picture of that dam that I found but I'll uh, I'll make sure to put it in this video. All right. Thanks guys for watching. We will talk to you later. Be safe.